But uh, no, I, I think it's a great venue. It adds to the challenge, doesn't it? It does, and of course, anytime you put the final next to the water, it's going to be windier than normal. So, so we get set for the women's recurve bronze medal match, and this will pit Zhu Jing against Lin Jia Shen, Lin Jia N, and it's Zhu Jing of China against Lin Jia N of Taipei. 21-year-old Chinese archer has reached her best world ranking of 27th. So there's a good look at Zhu Jing on target number one, ranked 27th in the world coming in. She held off 13th seed Choi Hyunji of Korea, 7-3 and three in the quarterfinals before losing to the top seed at Lee Sung Jin in a shoot-off 10-9. And the more intriguing story is this young lady, Lin Xia N of Taipei. She was the 50, 54th seeded archer at this tournament, and she's ranked 128th in the world, and yet she's defied the odds, Brady. She's gotten to the bronze medal match. Yeah, and you know, this is a year where we're gonna see this a lot because you have a lot of people pushing really hard for the Olympics, and you know, we're getting a lot closer to the game, so you're gonna see a, a lot of people making a big push, and you're gonna see a lot of the archers that we don't see in the finals a lot, you know, starting to step up. So Ms. Lin on target number two, and Zhu Jing of China on target number one. Lin Xia N of Taipei, a 6-4 quarterfinal win over Yuan Shu Chin of Taipei, her teammate. And then she dropped a 6-2 decision to Deepika Kumari of India, and winds up in the bronze medal match. Now this is the set system. It's not cumulative scoring anymore. So that eight isn't as painful as it would be for a compound archer. <laughs> no, anything can happen in this game. And with a little bit of wind out there and your first couple arrows. Now the winner of each of these sets is awarded two points. If they tie in the set, They'll split the points and each receive one point. The first archer to reach six points total wins the match. And if it's tied after the five sets, we go to the shoot off. Yep, closest to the center. Eight. And see, we're all tied up. So each archer with a nine and each with an eight. As the wind out of the west. And there's a bullseye for. Lin Xia N of Chinese Taipei. There it is. Put the pressure on, she comes through. Yep, start of a good match. So we're tied at 27 all after the first set. Keep in mind that the winner of the bronze medal will get 18 points, World Cup points. The silver medal carries 21 points along with it, and the gold medal, 25 points. Obviously, the Olympics are the main focus this year for everybody on this Archery World Cup Tour, but at the same time, everybody would also like to make it to uh, Tokyo in September for the World Cup Finals as well. Well, exactly. I mean, everyone's shooting for the Olympics and stuff like that, but, you know, people are still coming here tr still trying to make a World Cup Final also because, you know, that is... You know, for us, I mean, that's that's where all of our money comes from. Sure. The games is everything we have every four years, but we still push for that World Cup, too. It's been an intense uh, <laughs> couple of months for you and the rest of the American Arches, I know, going through the trials. Yeah, we just came from trials, and, you know, all the people here put a lot of work into trials, and then we flew over here, and I don't know, we just weren't exactly up for it, I guess. Not quite as sharp yeah. as... Uh, in other competitions. That's a nine. Looks like it caught. But it's not really an excuse because we go from tournament to tournament, so we just all shot bad. If you're just joining us in the compound competition, Rio Wild winning the gold medal. Braden Galantine settles for silver, and Dominique Genet took the bronze medal in the compound competition for the men. In the women competition, 
gold medal went to Albina Laganova of Russia. Christina Berger gets the silver, and Marcella Tonioli the bronze medal. That brings you up to date thus far. Right now, we're in the women's recurve competition bronze medal match. It was tied after the first set, 27 all. Well, actually, it was tied at one apiece as they both scored 27 points. And right now, as we head to the final shot of this second set, Zhu Jing with a nine, and she takes the set and takes the two points and grabs a three to one lead. Yep. Chinese Taipei kind of opened it up a little bit. The wind did kind of come across a little bit more, it looks like, those last three arrows, but, you know, like we were talking about earlier, it's the first final she's been in in a while and could be a little bit of nerves too. And it's a big difference between the field where the elimination rounds take place and coming down here, you have, a, well, the stands are packed. You have different weather conditions. It's a whole different setting. Oh, yeah. And even, even the, the good thing about the finals is, you know, the alternating arrows and only having 20 seconds per arrow to shoot. That makes a world of difference. And, I mean, technically and mentally, you have to be very strong to shoot that because you don't have time to let down or readjust. Mm -hmm. Or if a big wind gust comes up, you don't have time ah, to change for that. You just have to power through it. And, um, you know, it's what makes it so, so much different. And, you know, like the Olympics is going to be every single match will be like a finals match. Ms. Lin will shoot first here in the third set, trailing by two points, three to one the score here in the set system. And Ms. Lin with a 10, nice shot. And she needed that to start off this match, just losing that last set. Showing great composure for the 19-year-old competitor. And an eight. And if Ms. Lin can come through and win this set, we're tied at three all, and it's anybody's match. Okay. There it is. There you go. So she's found something that's working right for her right now. Zhu Jing needing a 10. And not close. But again, the beauty of this set system is, is at the very least, she's tied after this set at three all. Nice. So three straight tens for Ms. Lin. It's good coming back off of her end with a little bit of left arrow's last set and shooting 10, 10, 10, that's good. Made a great adjustment, and there's a nine to finish off that set, but a 30 to 23 score. That means two more points go to Ms. Lin. And so we're tied at three all after the first three sets here in the bronze medal match. Yeah, and you can see the Chinese coach and Archer there talking back and forth, and I imagine they're just saying, you know, you shot a good group because the wind didn't drift as much, so they could have... You know, something could have changed a little bit. She could have aimed off a little bit too far and just not realized what she was doing because you could tell when she came off the line, she didn't really look like she was upset with her shooting at all, just kind of confused at what just happened. Could there be that much difference? It's just a few feet apart between these two targets, but could the wind be affecting one target a little bit more than another? Um, it could be, but, uh, you know, generally with how this is set up, both archers are protected really well. And it opens up about the same, and we've been seeing in the compounds, you know, each side won. Mm -hmm. It hasn't looked like one side has an overwhelming power over the other. So I don't, I don't think it's that this time. Good picture of the man who takes the pictures, Dean Alberga, as we get set for the fourth set. Lin Xia N from Taipei. Shooting from okay. 70 meters now. They've moved the targets back from the compound competition. It's no longer 50 meters, it's 70, and she trails it again. Yeah, she's got a nice little group going there. Oh, yeah. And Zhu Jing trying to keep pace. Falls behind in this set by one point. Look at the focus and the concentration. Okay, on off. Not a bad shot, a nine for Ms. Lin. There's 
night. Gold to take it, 5-3. It's an eight, so she gets in seat. It's at least a tie. At least a tie. The best that Zhu Jing can hope for is a tie with a ten. They would split the points. So she has a little bit of pressure on her now because she doesn't want to fall back. It's a ten. There it is. There's the ten. She delivers. It looked a little bleak there for a second. But she came through after shooting an eight on her second shot of that fourth set. She finishes with a 10. They tie in the set, 27 points apiece, as Lin Xia'en also shot an eight with her final arrow of that fourth set. So as we go to the fifth, then what could be the deciding set, we're tied at four points apiece. If they split this one, we're going to the shootout. And they check the arrowheads. You always want to make sure, don't you? Yeah, there's a little, just little things that could go wrong. You know, you get a scratch on your point, and it could have been why she shot one right if she jumped on a little bit because it felt like a clicker went off. Or, you know, you, for the Chinese Taipei girl who wadded up those three arrows, I mean, you break a knock or you mess up one of the spin wings and don't catch it, then you'll, it's not good on the next one. Coming down to crunch time here in Turkey. Oh. And the first shot right on target. Yeah. She's shooting good. Has only been competing on this level for three years. Zhu oh, yeah, Xing outside yeah. that 10 ring with a nine. Uh -huh. So the advantage goes to the archer who came in as the 54th seed in this tournament and ranked 128th in the world. Okay. Okay. Got her right inside the ten ring. She's Put in great shape. Put a little English on it and it worked. Zhu <laughs> Jing under the gun <laughs> with a nine. Gold to win. A bit of a shake in the bow arm. Oh, look at that. There she goes. How about that? Second 30 of the match. She shot good. That works. Bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. And no matter what Zhu Jing does, it doesn't matter at this point. It's over. And the archer from Chinese Taipei defeats her competitor from China, the People's Republic of China. And the final score in this one is six to four as Lin Xia N proves that just about anybody can come out of almost nowhere and pull off an upset and pull off a surprise. You give yourself a chance. You get yourself to this point, and then you see what happens. Yeah, and I mean, she shot great. She shot a ton of 10. She shot two thirties. She had that one end where she had some left arrows, but I mean, other than that, she shot very solid for the conditions here today. Her lowest score was in that second set where she had only 24 points, shot a seven and an eight in that second set, but she was able to survive she fell behind three to one, came back tied it at three all. It was tied at four all after four sets, and then she wins the fifth and deciding set to win it six to four. So she defies the odds to say the very, very least. Wonder what kind of odds I could have gotten in Las Vegas on that match. <laughs>